Hello, my name is Haley, and we're sitting here in the office of Vital Healthcare, it's the office of Dr. Thomas Griffith, a naturopath in the Olympia area, and we're talking with Jeanette today. Jeanette, tell me a little bit about your medical condition and the reason why you decided you wanted to seek uh, a naturopathic physician in this area to help you out. I have MS, uh, I have had MS since 1979. Mm -hmm. uh, I've gone through a lot of different Western medicine treatments, but early on I decided that it was not for me. And over the years I have done a lot of uh, herbal remedies, exercise, diet, and little over time I just would get better, go back, better back, relapse and remitting. Mm -hmm. And I decided at one point that the naturopathic uh, way would be the best for me because I didn't like the side effects of Western medicine, the different prescriptions I had taken. I take them shortly, throw them away, decide that I just not going to do this anymore. So Jeanette, um, can you describe the symptoms that you had from MS and how those symptoms affected your daily life? I've had probably every symptom there is with MS, uh, mostly the fatigue, the f that's probably the hardest part because everything you do is governed by how, how much energy you have and I just didn't have any most of the time. Uh, walking. Many times I couldn't walk, I couldn't use my arms sometimes. A particular space in my life in 1993, uh, I was completely paralyzed for six months. And so it took me like two years to be able to get to the point where I could actually move normally. Uh, when I finally was able to tie my shoes by myself at one point, I felt like I was coming around again. Mm -hmm. But it took like almost two years. And that was very really difficult. Um, the walking, the gait, um, not being able to do well, normal things. Uh, I didn't drive a car for 13 years because uh, I couldn't feel the pedals on my feet anymore. I uh, didn't trust my uh, judgment, uh, vision problems. Um, just a, it was a long list. <laughs> I don't have time to go into all of them, but they're all there. I went through a whole gamut, and, but none of them ever stuck. Mm -hmm. I think one of the parts, too, is that with, uh, a lot of times in Western medicine, what they said about the Pacific be about multiple sclerosis is that the scars are permanent in your myelin sheath. Mm -hmm. And once you get the scars, you never get rid of them, they're over, you're done. Uh, and uh, they still admit that they didn't really know enough, at least they didn't back in the early 80s. And um, I just never really believed it. Mm -hmm. And I felt like once I was paralyzed, I'd always be paralyzed, but I wasn't. I was on very heavy medications at the time, I will say that. Um, I was able to start walking again, but it took a long time but it wasn't permanent. I don't know how long permanent means in something like that because I'm walking better than I was in 1979 now, so good. Something's working. Good. So Jeanette, how did you find Dr. Griffith? I, uh, at the time, I decided I wanted to do have my amalgam fillings removed by my dentist, but I didn't feel there was any reason to do it unless I was going to get the chelation therapy that I heard about and read about for years. And so I went online, because I didn't know where to look, I didn't know where to look, and I live in a very remote area on the peninsula. So I went online, found Dr. Griffith's website, and I liked it. I liked what he had to say, his very friendly picture. I liked that. Um, it just was very open, and uh, I, just, I just liked it. So I called him, made the appointments, and just started coming here. So Jeanette, were you concerned at all about doing intravenous treatments and what convinced you to go ahead and try them? I didn't really know that much about it actually. Um, I've had intravenous uh, treatments with uh, regular medicine. I don't know if your needles don't like it, it's not like the highlight of my day, but um, I just decided if it was, it was the way to go, it was the only way they could do it, that's what I would do. Mm -hmm. Well, things where you just, um, I guess I just figured it's most necessary. Mm -hmm. I knew that I couldn't just get the fillings removed and let it go at that. So if chelation therapy with IV uh, intravenous was how they did it, I just did it. Okay. So Jeanette, you had IV chelation um, weekly for a few months, mm -hmm. and um, obviously you noticed some changes. So do you want to talk a little bit about the benefits of the treatments and how those treatments affected your daily living? Yes, it uh, didn't start right away. I really couldn't tell if it started like right after the treatments because I was usually a wee bit tired right after the day of the treatment. But over a period of weeks, months, there was like an accumulative effect that I really noticed, a marked effect of how well I could walk, my mm -hmm. balance, um, 
I put my wheelchair away a long time ago. It's folded up away in a shed. Um, I'll probably never get rid of it. Too paranoid for that. But um, my crutches are put away. My cane is still in the car, but I never use it. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I haven't. Uh, the other day I noticed, about a couple months ago, I noticed I could step off a curb from the street. It doesn't sound very monumental to most people. To me, that was huge. Mm -hmm. You know, to just step off a curb, I've been thinking about that it might fall on my face. Not holding on to the bumper of the car or anything. Um, I live on a uh, large acreage along the coast, and I have on our property, our driveway is very long, it's 1,200 feet. I'm able to walk up and down it now without use of any uh, cane, crutches, sticks, walking sticks, or any. I used hiking poles sometimes, but if I just want to stroll up and down the driveway, I can. And that's that's huge. Mm -hmm. and so you was in a wheelchair for years. Excellent. So, so would you recommend this treatment to others? Oh, absolutely, yes. Um, yeah, it's, uh, like I said, I think just the cumulative effect of everything overall that I've done, and this was like a, it could, I think the accumulation could have just bumped it up a notch mm -hmm. to the point where I could do more. Mm -hmm. I don't get as tired, um, which is, for some of you who have MS, anybody who's listened to this with MS knows that the fatigue is such a big part of it. It can really dent your life where there were days I was only awake and actually moving around if I can move around at all, maybe six hours a day. The rest of the time I was sleeping or napping. Mm -hmm. And I don't take naps anymore. <laughs> Which is, you know, 30 years down the line, it's kind of nice. But, uh, so yeah, I would absolutely recommend it to anyone. Very I'm good. very grateful for this. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sharing your story with us. We appreciate thank it. Thank you, Haley, for inviting me.